Bertrand Russell was one of the greatest philosophers on this earth. Recent philosopher. In the previous century, he was there in USA. This Bertrand Russell had read lots of books, lots of books about sociology, about philosophy, about religions. He had read lots of books. And because of the reading of lots of books, he was having lot of intellectual ability. And he used to think in his own way that he is a highly knowledgeable person. And even people used to appreciate him that he is a very high level knowledgeable person. Someday, some Indian philosopher was talking to Bertrand Russell. I don't know who was that person. I really don't know. So this Indian philosopher asked Bertrand Russell, have you read the Upanishads? Now Bertrand Russell asked, what are Upanishads? Now the Indian philosopher said, they are the scriptures written right from the Vedic times in the Indian tradition or we should say Sanatana tradition, Bharatiya tradition. Now Bertrand Russell casually or carelessly said, oh, what is there in that? I have read almost all the books on this earth. I can read Upanishads also. What is there in that? Now the Indian told, first read them. They are all in Samskrita. You may not be able to read them in Samskrita. At least they are translated versions which are available in English. Read them. There are more than 108 Upanishads as such. But uh, Adi Shankara and later on another four Acharyas, they have written commentaries on the Upanishads. In fact, Adi Shankara wrote the commentary on the Upanishads for the first time for the selected 12 Upanishads. Later on, Ramanujacharya also wrote. Later on, Madhvacharya also wrote. Later on, Vallabhacharya also wrote. Nimbarkacharya also wrote. So that way, these five Acharyas who wrote the Bhashyas, they were called as five philosophical systems in India. Now the Indian philosopher did not tell all these things to Bertrand Russell. Because the Bertrand Russell will not understand all this Bhashya commentary and all that. So he told Bertrand Russell, you just pick up out of these ten Upanishads, Isha, Kena, Katha, Prashna, Mundaka, Mandukya, Tittiri, Aitare, Encha, Chandogyam, Brahadaratakam, Tatha. That way there are ten Upanishads. Now you get the English translated version of these ten Upanishads and you read them. Later on, let us see. Bertrand Russell told, what a big deal. I have read books. I have written so many books. I am a quite knowledgeable person. I am capable of reading anything. Let me get those 10 English translated versions and let me read them. He told it so casually. But for reading the 10 Upanishads, even the translated version, <coughs> Bertrand Russell took more than a year. Some portions he could not understand at all because Upanishads are not so easy to be understood because Upanishads talk only about the self, only about the self, only about the God, only about the consciousness, nothing else. Now Bertrand Russell could not understand many statements of the Upanishads also. Somehow he completed the 10 translated versions. And after a year, the same Indian philosopher met him. Now Bertrand Russell told the Indian philosopher that I was having a heavy arrogance earlier that I have read almost all the books on this earth and I know everything. I have a lot of knowledge of everything. Now I feel so happy that one fool is reduced in the world. This is the exact sentence which Bertrand Russell told. Now I am so happy that one fool is reduced in the world. Which means now Bertrand Russell understood 
what a foolish fellow he was he was reading about everything else but he had not read about self he had not read about consciousness as it is directly discussed in the upanishads now when bertrand russell himself says that he was fool until then and now he feels happy that one fool is reduced in the world my dear friends how many of you have read the upanishads my dear friends how many indians have read the upanishads my dear friends how many indians know that there are upanishads now who should be at fault at least bertrand russell read the upanishads what about the indians what do they read daily now and then they read in the newspaper they read the corona count they read in the newspapers and in different magazines what do they read now how can you expect that fools will be reduced if fools has to be reduced we will have to read whatever wise people have written earlier so my dear friends read these 10 upanishads even if it is english translation 